Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you're all fine. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can charge and discharge your supercapacitor. I'm going to give you the information about supercapacitor, the differences between batteries and conventional supercapacitor. So, uh, I have here 2.7 volt and 500 farad supercapacitor. It's a very uh, powerful supercapacitor. According to this formula, the energy can stored in this supercapacitor is about 108 uh, 1800 joule of energy this uh, supercapacitor can store what is the difference between supercapacitors and batteries and the conventional uh, capacitor the supercapacitor can store a very a lot of uh, energy but in a very short time very quick time so you can charge your supercapacitor uh, with high current of course you can charge with low current but you can also uh, charge with high current now i'm going to charge my supercapacitor and ch discharge it and I'm going to show you the step uh, how you, you should uh, charge your supercapacitor. First of all, let's start with measuring the initial voltage of our supercapacitor. Okay. Um, As you see, it has 0 0.11 volt inside it. It means that it's almost completely uh, empty. We cannot measure the internal resistance of supercapacitor because the internal resistance of supercapacitors are very, very low that you cannot measure with multimeter. So now uh, let's charge our supercapacitor. I have, I have here my uh, power supply. It's a very special, very nice power supply. I'm going to charge my supercapacitor with uh, 5 amp and I'm going to show you the results make the connections let's see how many minutes it will take to completely charge okay let's start as you see, now it's charged the capacitor with uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.50 volts. But don't look at this voltage because uh, 5 amp is a very high current. The working principle of this power supply, uh, in order to charge the supercapacitor until 2.7 volt, it should give about uh, 3.5 volts. So don't look at here. Some of, some of you, my friends, told me that you overcharge the supercapacitor with about 3.5 volt no i i don't uh, charge it with uh, i don't overcharge it the uh, giving voltage should be about 3.5 volt in order to charge the supercapacitor until 2.7 volt probably it will take some time so i will uh, wait until it's completely charged Now look at it's charged it with uh, 1.7 volt, but the uh, voltage inside the supercapacitor is now I'm going to show you. Okay, it's 1.4 volt now inside the supercapacitor. You see now two minutes. By the way, my friends, if you want to, if you have uh, more than one uh, supercapacitor and if you want to connect them in parallel, there is no problem. But if you are going to connect them in series, you need to use balancing uh, charging modules for a uh, supercapacitor. You could also charge your supercapacitor with lithium ion batteries or your phone charger, but there should be an indicator uh, that's showing you the uh, in in uh, the voltage inside the supercapacitor so you should be careful while charging with uh, other power supplies or your mobile phone charger okay in a short time it's it's going to be fully charged Okay, my friends, I think it's completely charged. As you see, it took, it took about uh, 4.5 minutes. Okay, now I'm going to measure the voltage inside it. 
By the way, it's not getting hot. It's pretty cool now. And now measure the initial voltage and measure the voltage current voltage inside it. As you see now, it has 2.86 uh, volt inside our super capacitor. Now, you can light up a bulb with your super cap. I'm going to show you. See, this is a 12 volt uh, bulb. Okay, now I'm going to uh run this dc motor with our super capacitor it's a very high current dc motor it can consume a lot of energy in a very short time can you see it can run that very fast Okay, now again, measure the voltage inside it. It still has 2.44 volts still. Now I'm going to make some short circuit uh, with this copper wire. Oh, can you see? It's a very thick copper wire, but it can almost melt it. Ooh, <laughs> it's pretty nice. Ooh, <laughs> you see what happened. And uh, because the discharging rate of supercapacitors are very high, they can uh, give a very, very big amount of current in a very short time. Now make a last um, short circuit and after that we are going to finish our video. At this time I have another wire here. It's not um, a couple wire, but it's a uh, steel wire. I'm going to make a short circuit with this one. Let's look at this one. Wow, can you see? Ah, it just melted. Ooh. <laughs> okay, lastly, let's measure again the current voltage inside it. After all, it has still, uh, sorry. After all, it has still 1.6 volt, so it's pretty uh, powerful super capacitor. Okay, my friends, we get the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed the video and get the information about super capacitor. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel and like the video. Take care of yourself. See you in the next videos, my friends.